Everybody. Kate Hamlin along with Keith Ryan and we have got a great part of action for you here tonight. So you saw uh, Paul Anthony make his way to the ring. You know, a very interesting entrance there. Throwing that old referee shirt almost at me. And uh, you know, he used to be a referee, got fired, now a competitor facing these two men, Garrett Hewitt and Roger Hawkins here tonight. Yeah, these two young men can flip flop and fly, let me tell you. Anthony, a ground and pound type wrestler, a former referee, so he knows how to work around the rules. Right you are, Ken, you know, Paul Anthony, very smart, very uh, manipulative, I would say. You see him uh, taking a sweet time on the outside corner. Yeah, the ref needs to count him. Make him get back in the ring. 
This is a triple threat match. Anything goes. Only reason that referee is in there is to count the pinfall. Uh, triple threat, no disqualifications. You know, it's going to be an all-out fight. Paul Anthony knows that too, and he's working it into his favor. He is going to wait for the right time to pounce. very uncool. That one reminded me of my childhood there. Corporal punishment here. Anthony, a, a former member of the armed services. That's about as high as he got was corporal. Big chop by Gewin that time on Hawkins. Second, uh, second chop in the corner right there too and he's got a Mongolian on the back that time. Lit up there, lit up Roger Hawkins real well there. Duplex. He's going for a second one. Oh, oh that was not. it for the ride. Close line by Ewan. Off the road, leg drop. There's the cover, one, two. And of course, Anthony, what is his problem? He just pulled Muppet to the outside of the ring. Your referee, we affectionately call him Muppet. That's right, Ken. Lucas Muppet Henson. There goes Gillen after Anthony. Well, Anthony playing mind games there with uh, both of his opponents. You can kind of see Darren Gillen kind of... Darren Gillen has recently in a match uh, suffered a hip injury. Now look at Anthony now just stomping away. Stomping the butthole. And to the ropes. Oh, a big clothesline cover. Count of one, count of two. Nope. <laughs> Anthony complaining about the speed of the count that time. He's got a, a, a rear headlock there applied. I don't know if Ewan's going to be able to get back in this match or not. Yeah, he is favoring that hit. Apparently he took a, a shot outside the ring in one of his last matches and, and cracked his hip. He's climbing up now. What's he going to try and do? He's got to be careful here. Oh, there you go. Mr. Brock kick up the top. I think it did just as much damage to him as it did to Paul Anthony. Oh my goodness, this crowd going wild. Right here at Keeping It for Civic Center. Doing now. Hawkins is gonna take advantage. Smart move by him. Very smart move indeed. Irish whip. Got him with a clothesline. Hawkins is fired up. Stay on him, Hawkins. That's how you're gonna get this match. That's how you're gonna get the pinball. Stay on him. Don't pander to the crowd. Anthony. Oh, over the top and out to the floor. A little double teamwork there. Yeah, he was getting ready to size up both men, but they were able to break Paul Anthony over the top rope. Hawkins going in too deep. Oh. Gotta put a fake move on him there. Going on the outside now. Ewan yeah. climbing up to the top. What's gonna happen? I rent district. Oh, now we go in the heat. Oh man, outside the ring. You can see Hawkins kind of favoring his uh, left leg. It's hard to tell from our vantage point. Uh, I think, no, that's his right leg. I believe it's his right leg. And Ewan is uh, favoring that right hip. For a man with an injury, he's pulling out all the stops tonight. Right, you are, Ken. Darren Ewan kind of in a very precarious predicament here. Rolls Anthony back into the ring now. Ewan coming back, dropping that forearm, holding that hip. Honestly, I'm surprised that the medical officials allowed him in the ring tonight with that hip being so bad. Going for the suplex, blocked by Anthony. Again, blocked by Anthony. Turning it around. Oh, hard suplex. You can hear that all the way from here, Ken. I'm telling you. 
Oh, big stomp by Anthony that time on Hawkins. Gonna drop that full body weight down off the bat. Setting him up again and drops it down again for the second time. Picking the body part on him this time, Anthony, is going for the bat. Yeah, you aim for that lower back, it does wonders. Oh, what a mistake that was. Got him right in the nether, yeah. Uh, uh, borrow a line from you, Ken. Big six of Prado right there. Only a two count there. Good try by Hawkins. Oh, Anthony coming back with a clothesline. I haven't seen you, and he is out on the floor. He may be out of it. He's over in the right hand corner there. I don't know if he's able to get back in the ring or not. Yeah, it looks like he's still favoring that hip. Ah, surfboard tight maneuver by Anthony. He's just pulling the arms back. Got that knee placed right in between the shoulder blades. Yeah, applying that pressure to the upper back area. Looks like he's got a dragon sleeper. And now, what is this? It looks like Ewan is trying to do the same thing to Anthony. Oh, we got a sleeper on and another sleeper on. Oh. Break of the eyes on both men that time. It almost looked like Darren had a Kata Hajime applied. You see uh, Roger Hawkins getting involved there with the sleeper. Kata, Kata Hajime. A great uh, Japanese sleeper hold. Throws him to the corner now. He's got him double stacked. Hitting that buckle hard. Oh, drop kick. Ewan now. Oh, big body splash. And another big body splash. Avalanche. Oh, man, too. Ewan pulls him off. It's every man for himself in this match. Ewan attacking Hawking. Check that Hawkins. Yeah, certainty about these types of triple threat matches, Ken, is sometimes they're short-lived alliances. They are, exactly. Big knee lift. Going on a forearm across the back. Now he's going to turn his uh, attention to Paul Anthony. Looks like he's going to set him up for a whip. Oh, is he going to whip him right into Hawkins? He is. Oh, that's 250 pounds coming in on the ribs and the stomach of Hawkins that time. Yeah, that's got to hurt. Big splash by Ewan. Everybody down. Looks like he's going to roll Hawkins over. Cover. One. Nope, he couldn't hold it. What is he going to do now? He's putting Anthony on top. Hey, what's he going, what, what's he going for? Ewan coming off, big double stop! Look. Off the top! Cut it wrong! Now one, count a two, and it! Now winner, there it is, Ewan! What a great way to start things out! Amazing!
Keith Ryan here. Ken Hamlin is indisposed at the moment, so I will be taking over commentary duties until he comes back. So we have Spoon Man, the pride of Frisco, Texas. Christian Wilde up against Cole Wright, the uh, third generation stunt man. The one man show. This is going to be a pretty interesting match. Um, my partner just came back, so welcome back, Ken. Yeah, well, this looks like it, this could be a, a very good uh, competitive scientific match. We were talking with um, Cole earlier before the show, and he said that he he's one of the, uh, he, he likes to wrestle by the rules, but he's also very aggressive. Right, you are, Ken, you know, very respectful, but then again, very competitive. You know, he always likes to get the last laugh. Calling himself the one-man show, that doesn't surprise me. Tire and oh, there we go. Tie up collar and elbow. Waist lock takedown by Cole. I don't blame you there, Ken. You know, this is such an exciting night. Sometimes even we're left speechless. Yeah, I'm telling you. You know, you see uh, Cole Wright kind of very, like, technical, kind of like, down to the ground, you know, keep him grounded, kind of a style. Yeah, you got to do that with uh, with Christian because Christian has got the speed on him. They're only about they're about 50 pounds difference uh, weight difference. So Cole's got to use that ground to pound, keep Christian down on the mat, and work on uh, a point of balance for him. There's a reversal whip, uh, leapfrog, a shoulder block, just ran him over. Down for the cover, count of one, only a one. We'll work that headlock now on the mat. Yeah, going back to that grounded headlock, trying to keep him grounded. You know how how much uh, Christian Wilde likes to fly. Wilde in trouble, he was on the mat. You know, the, um, the style of Christian Wilde, you know, he likes to survive. He's got that stamina, he's also pretty fast, very evasive. Kind of like agility. Shoulder block by Wild that time. Now he goes down for the headlock on the mat. Reverse headlock by Christian Wild. This one could very well be scientific, but also very hard hitting. Right, you are, kid. You know, you've got a skill technician in uh, Cole Wright. Also, you've got the very, you know, cat like agility of Christian Wild, and he's also got some technical wizardry up his sleeve as well. That's through. Making way back up now to the standing position. A couple of elbows on Wild by Cole. Arm ringer. Oh, throw that shoulder in there. Working on that shoulder joint. All around the, into the uh, turnbuckle that time. He's got a count of five. Reversal whip. Oh, and another clothesline by Cole. You know, Christian Wilde's been up against bigger people than Cole Wright. Wright uh, covered him for a count of two. Kind of a sloppy cover. Kind of a sloppy cover there. Um, you know, Christian Wilde's been against bigger people than Cole Wright in the in the past. You know, uh, still it's going to be a big challenge to overcome a guy uh, with this like size. And and this guy, this guy can be a little crazy. He's a stunt motorcycle rider. Yep. You know, I mean. Uh, Nice hip toss there by Wild. Unpredictable. Oh, nice Japanese arm drag. Very amazing with uh, tilt award. Big drop kick by Wild. He's got him on the ropes right now. There's a cover. Count of one, two. two. You got to hand it to Christian Wild. He is amazing. He is something else, that's for sure. Uh, you know, question that's on everybody's mind is will Spoonman scoop up another victory tonight? Wait a minute. What's this guy doing out here? Morty Lipschitz. What's Morty Lipschitz doing out here? It looks like he's scouting. Uh, another potential client maybe? I'm not sure about that. 
The last thing we need is to have this man out of ringside. Oh, shut up. It's okay, Ken. We can do a better job than he ever could. Out of wrist lock now, Wild on right. Backs him to the corner, then calls for the break. Irish whip, reversal to the buckle, off the second. Oh, and he caught him in midair. Oh, and a big spine muster by right. Could be, might be, no. I think Wright thought he had him right there. And a Hall of Fame commentator, Jim Ross, used to say there's a spine on the pine. Very pinpoint spine buster there. That's a true. Right now picking up Christian Wilde. Going to set him up. Looks like maybe for a suplex. No, he blocked. Blocked it again. Oh, just a punch right to the stomach. Oh, what a suplex. The, the wind out of Wilde's sails there. Only a two count, didn't hook the leg. The only way you're gonna keep Christian down is if you hook that leg, throw all your body weight across the shoulder. Christian Wilde uh, continuing to survive out here tonight. You know, he's got the heart of an underdog, that's for sure. That's right. He's the comeback kid. Right now, picking him up, being very aggressive. Throwing him to the turnbuckle. Now a stern buckle, he's gonna fly. Oh, he missed! Turn him first, right on the top turn buckle. That momentum that he got cost him right there. Wild now up to his feet. Oh, caught him now. Coming in. Oh, go behind. Reversal. To the ropes. Oh, smart move. Holding on to the top rope that time by Cole. Oh! Looks like he was going for some sort of a maneuver, maybe a. Uh, punch or something and, and Christian moved out of the way he caught himself full force across that middle rope yeah Cole Wright just hitting the uh, middle rope right there oh nice spread cover one two oh close but no cigar that's a great maneuver by uh, Wild Bear using that slice bread maneuver oh, one made, of the best maneuvers in his arsenal made famous by Brian Kendrick you know, he also got a, a different variation of that move from Hall of Famer Trish Stratus. Oh, yeah, Stratus Faction. Wild now making his way back to his feet. Both men are spent. They've been going at it tooth and nail. There's a big forearm. Oh, tried the whip. A little counter there. Right again, Second hold one. on to that top rope. Oh, there you go. Put that boot right in there. Oh, what a massive clothesline. My Cole Wright. Getting a little aggressive. Setting him up. Oh. oh! TKO! Cover one, two. Oh! What he got the shoulder How did he do that? How did he get out of that? You know, getting the shoulder up after like a fireman's carry cutter, you know, TKO, you know, that goes to show that you've got the ability to just survive through anything. I'm telling you. Oh, he's what setting him up. He looks like he's going for a huge clothesline. Oh, this could not be good. Wild stance getting back to his feet. Oh, he ducked it. Wait a minute. Go backslide. Up. Backslide. One, two. Oh. Close one. Roll up. Ah, small package. One, two. Victory roll. Oh. Could be, might be, no, no. Number one, two, three. What a fantastic match between these two gentlemen. Here's your winner, Cole Wright. Cole Wright, his debut in Northwest Pro, picks up the victory. Unbelievable, you know, this match went back and forth. And for Cole Wright to pick up the victory, once again, it was an, an amazing finish. That was a great bow. Great match for sure. And it looks like we might have a, a essence of sportsmanship here. Good to see. Always love to see great sportsmanship like that.
Cole Wright making a great debut here in Northwest Pro, and I guarantee you it won't be the last time we'll see him. Show of respect there between those two men. You know, I got to give it to both of them. You know, a good show of sportsmanship. All right, we'll be back in a moment. Woo! And uh, what's this? Uh, Morty Lipschitz looking like he's enticing Christian Wilde to the yeah, back. Oh, well, he didn't belong out there in the first place. This I don't like the look of that at all. Looks like something's brewing here. Rashad Tyson bringing it back to Northwest Pro after a long absence. His baller attitude. Getting a shot at Lance Dean and the Washington State Championship. Yeah, okay, you know, Lance Dean holding that Washington State title for a couple months now, and uh, he's looking to defend against another oncomer here by the name of Real Talk Rashad Tyson. Host of the Real Talk podcast. And the referee feel good in there. Yeah, this is going to be a good match, that's for sure. Nice in here. 
get, preaching his real talk to the crowd. He's wrestled all over the Pacific Northwest, Key. He's been a, a champion many times over. So this is going to be quite the test for Lance Dean. Yeah, you know, you got a guy with the, uh, the gift of gab there. Sometimes I think he does a little more talking and a little less wrestling. And I think he changes to be a little more wrestling and a little less talking. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, flapping his gums a little too much. Well, let's see what the Rockabilly Rebel can do with this gentleman. I wouldn't put Rasad Tyson. I, would, I wouldn't, uh, you know, take him lightly. Yeah, you know, you've got, you know, some pompous, arrogant people every now and again who are also known for getting into the mind of their opponents. So this exactly. could be... You know, talk is cheap. Let's see some action. Yeah, we've got a veteran in here, Lance Dean. Many years in the ring, many uh, championships. Uh, was the last holder of the uh, tag team championship with his cousin, JB Moonshine. So he has some tricks up his sleeve, to say the least. Yeah, Lance Dean, one of the toughest as they come here in Northwest Pro. You know, it looks like uh, Rashad Tyson is uh, all bark, no bite, but let's see if he bites tonight. Now, go behind. Picks that left arm now, got it in an arm bar. Works his way down now. Dean making his way back up. Tyson working that elbow and shoulder joint with this hold. All the time, flapping over gums. Trying to play a little psychological game. Yeah, psychological warfare is the name of the game when it comes to real talk or shot Tyson. You know, you got uh, Lance Dean now with uh, some chain wrestling taking place. Nice wrist lock. Got a figure four in it there. Lucky Billy Rebel, you know, smash mouth in your face, no nonsense type of a guy. Nice reversal into a hammer lock, into a side head lock. Wow, oh, nice move, look at that. Dean using his foot to put him down to the mat and now reverses it into a hammer lock. Tyson trying to figure out an escape. Grabs him by the head. Oh, nice snapmare out of that. Going for a neck stretch type maneuver. We've got that chin lock from behind. And you, you can see right there, he's using his knee to apply extra pressure to the back. Right and, at the base of the skull. Right, and you see Lance Dean now moving out of the way. Nice, uh, Lance turning it back into a hammer lock, we ripped out of it. Nice chain wrestling so far. Back and forth, back and forth, this is amazing. Dean now, coming through. Fireman's carry takedown, and right back on that left arm. Picking his point of balance. Oh, look at this. He's great biting the arm. Oh, now it looks like Tyson is back up. It looks like he's trying to get a pending predicament. Dean now working that arm into a hammer lock with the leg involved. Back to their feet now. He's going for a double wrist lock. To the ropes now, calling for the break. He's got to be careful here not to get himself disqualified. Oh, double shot to the gut. Setting for the ride. Oh. Oh, a double spinner that time. Puts up that left boot. Oh, I'm gonna drop him down, atomic drop. Right on the tailbone. Oh, oh reverse inverted. atomic drop. Oh, and that's just a straight right hand right there. I don't call that nothing else. Just the knockback right into the corner. Tyson now in the ropes. Rashad Tyson kind of Retreating to the. I don't think any real talk will get him out of this. That will. Shot right to the face. Oh, boy, did he lay in that right foot right to the head of Lance Dean. Nice and in control now. Entire crowd chanting for Lance Dean. Put that, put 
that foot right again in the, in the chops of Lance Dean. Oh, and another one. I think he's picked his head, the head as the point of balance. You know, it's uh, sloshing the brains a little bit. Oh, now he's covering him over the middle rope. Come on. He's gone until the count of five. Oh, now what's he going to do? He's going to come outside the ring. Oh, a drive-by. Nasty basement kick there. Rashad Tyson now going for the cover. Got a one. That's all he got was one. No, nope, only a one count. Well, if that cover had been better, it might have been. It might have been a three count. Oh, firing back. Big elbow. Oh, European uppercut. I guess they teach that in Tennessee. Ooh, DDT. Cover, one, two. I guess we can call it an East Tennessee uppercut. Ah, uh, Tyson now back up to his feet. Oh, another big boot to the head. Very nasty kick to the side of the face. I'm worrying about concussion here for Lance Dean. Oh, elbow drop. Rashad Tyson, hot dogging and grandstanding there. He is grandstanding just a bit, is he not? Set him for the ride? No, he's going to come in full force with that punch. The other buckle, here he comes. Oh, big uppercut. Arm whip snap there. And a drop kick right to the head. Cover. Only two. Very nonchalant cover there. You know, he's got to put his body weight into it. That's true. And you know, it's not like you're going to beat Lance Dean like that. This man's been around a long, long time. Elbow to the base of the skull. Ops that foot across the back. Oh, stomp. Series of stomps right to the heart area. That could be devastating. Tyson's going to what looks like the top rope. He's climbing those ropes. What's he going to do? He's going to take a gamble here. Let's see if he hits the jackpot. As you say, is the risk worth the reward? Took a little too much time there. No reward on that. Dean now, boy, he is unhappy as heck. They're gonna trade blows. Another right. Left by Lance Dean, and he throws a couple that time. Rights by Tyson, there's three of them. Coming back, three by Dean. Three piece of his own. Oh, big kick. Shot to the shin. Missed the big roundhouse. Oh, there's that discus elbow. Beautiful roaring elbow right to the face. That landed flush. Big kick to the gut. What's he going to do now? Oh, look, he's looking for that double arm DDT. Is he going up? Nice remove out of there by Tyson. Another big blow to the head. I'm worried about Lance Dean with all those shots he's taking to the head. Uh -oh. Kill switch engage. No. Oh. Headlock driver. One, two. Oh, kick out. Two and nine ten. Dean just saved his title by that much. Dean. What a close fall there. Tyson couldn't believe he didn't get the three count. Both men weary. A shot up now. Set oh. him up, he got a double, he's gonna hook him. He's going for the kill switch. Go. It looked like he was trying to go for the kill switch, but Dean came out of it. Heidi! Oh, that was beautiful. Set him up. Double underhook, he's got him! Double underhook, DDT, that could do it! Get the cover! There's a hook in the leg! One, two, three! Lance Dean with a successful Whoa, winner! Hits. Lance Dean! That was an excellent match.
That was absolutely crazy, Ken. Back and forth. Still, you're watching to say Jamie and last I'm hoping that he didn't get any kind of an injury with those headshots. He took a brutal headshot throughout that match. Yeah, it looks to me that Lance Dean's stock has risen more tonight. Thank you all for coming.
Yeah, I want to bring it in. You got something in here. I don't want to bring it with championship action. The United States heavyweight title up four grabs. Mikey O'Shea, the Irish juggernaut, back in Northwest Pro. Last time we saw him, he was a bloody mess. Right, Jordan Cannon, it was last year, January 2022. J.D. Mason busted open the Irish juggernaut during their championship match. One year later, Mikey O'Shea is back, and he is ready. in Seahawk territory. That's right. What a bunch of low class. Lumberjack attacking. Oh, big shot by Lumberjack. After the cheap shot. Oh, oh big shot. Another shot. Mikey O'Shea ain't gonna take that. Look at that one right there. Oh, and he threw a big chop himself. These two bulls are gonna go at it hard and fast. Battle of the Titans. My goodness, we've seen these two battle before. And it's just all out war. I hope they put the extra uh, padding and, and such and extra under the ring because this ring could break between these two guys in here. All right, you are in two big meaty men slapping meat. It's going to be an all-out brawl. Rolling them out. It's like, yeah. There better be extra steel supports, I'm telling you. Say no stranger to the Lumberzack. And like you said, these guys have history. Oh, over the top rope that time. Taking him by the throat. Mikey now in a little bit of trouble. I don't, it's going to take more than that, though. Lumberzack coming up. Big shoulder block. All this hard hitting action, Ken. You can hear it from all the way in the back. And this crowd is just amazing. They are loving it. O'Shea now working his way back up. He's in the corner now. Look at this. Choking him in the corner. Come on. Come on, Phil. You got about a, a little bit better count than that. Uh, Phil's got to keep the uh, law and order here tonight. This, my friend, is Lumberzack's yard, right here. Choking him over the ropes. When Lumberzack gets an opponent like this, you know, he goes all out. Using everything in his arsenal. Oh! Big splash. Down goes O'Shea. And look, he's yelling at the crowd instead of going for a cover. There's jaw jacking. Cover one. Only a one. Jaw jacking, you know, Lumberjack jaw jacking, you know. I'm sure you heard the results from uh, a different sports event here tonight. But, you know, it's all about the United States title here in Northwest Pro tonight. That's right. O'Shea taking that big punch. Now, look at this. He's got him in somewhat of a chin lock type maneuver. Oh, gonna rain those blows across the chest. Three. Comes up fourth. O'Shea down to the mat. I'm not sure if this return is going to be what he wanted to be. But Lumberjack is, is just going all out right here. Oh. O'Shea coming back. Ooh. Shot of his own. Back to the corner. That was just a bum's rush right there. Lumberjack now, center of the ring. Oh, up and down! Good lord. What a body slam. 
Lumberjack insists on inciting this crowd. Oh, no! He's taking that football jersey and just laying it over the motionless body of Mikey O'Shea. That's an insult to injury right there. Elbow drop. Deadly accuracy there on that elbow drop. Going to roll him back now, putting the cover on him. One, only a one. A two does feel good. <clears throat> Looks like he has shoulder up a one to me. Setting him up now, what's he going to do? Dragging him to the corner. Or actually over to the middle, more into the middle of the ring. Now he's berating the referee. Oh, Lumberjack's not going to go up and do this. This could put a hole in the ring. This could be disastrous, Ken. Catastrophic. And he's up. And oh, and oh my God. That could have dislocated the elbow and the shoulder. Lumberzagging, writhing in pain. You can feel that on the Richter scale, uh, scale there, I'm Ken. I'm telling you, I probably hit about 3.4. Double count now, both men down. They got to the count of 10 to get up. Oh, it will be a double count out. Remember, the champion has to be pinned or submitted for the title to change hands. Disqualification or count out would not work. Big right hand by O'Shea. Here comes Lumberjack with one. Oh, look at this. Back and forth, this is crazy. Oh, God. 300 pounds plus by both men putting behind the big knee left. Good Google the moon. I don't know how they're either of them are standing. Duck under. Cut her! Cut her! him! He's gotta get over and cover him. That could be it. Standing cutter from out of nowhere by Mikey O'Shea. Crowd totally behind O'Shea. Listen to him, champ! This is electric. So the roll through. Oh, Here it comes. Oh, big bow line. And set him for a side super. Now goes Lumberjack. Going for the cover. This is it. One, two. Oh. That was too close to call. That should have been three. Oh my goodness. That was milliseconds. Giving Phil Good the benefit of the doubt that time, but that looked like a three to me. O'Shea now. Got the numbers that. Right, setting him up. You gonna pick him up? Can he pick him up? Oh, big elbow strikes. Right to the side of the head and neck. Right to the turnbuckle. O'Shea, now he's the number Zach going to his own. Turned it around. Oh! Two of the nine ten. Just a uh, shoulder up there after that uh, that backdrop bottom there. It, this is such an exciting match between two big men. I love to watch a big man match go at it. These guys. You know, they, they leave nothing to chance. Two colossal titans just clashing. Again, the crowd behind Mikey O'Shea. This whole entire place is going nuts for Mikey O'Shea. Lumberjack picking him up now. On the big right. O'Shea in the corner. Both of these guys are winded. They put a lot, forth a lot of effort. Spending a lot of energy in this match of this magnitude. Reversal whip. Here comes O'Shea. Oh, and he eats a boot. Oh. Lumberjack put that big size 16 up there. Oh, look at O'Shea coming back. Gonna take him off the ropes. Raise yourself, Ken. This could be the big one. I'm telling you, hold on tight. Damn, oh. the Valley Driver. What is that? And wait a minute. Mason coming out. Oh, jeez. Look at this. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Danny Mason attacking Mike O'Shea. This is despicable. A disqualification. Lumberjack's not going to lose that title, but I'm telling you. Oh, God. Will he ever get his 
just desserts ever. Only time will tell. Wait a minute. O'Shea now going after J.D. Mason. Oh, rock bottom. Out goes Mason. That's what you get for sticking your nose in the business of the Irish juggernaut. Oh, he's got a chair. Oh, look at the look at the, look at the eyes of the Irish juggernaut. He's incensed. He is incensed. here, Mikey O'Shea wins the match via disqualification. However, he does not win the United States title due to the ruling where the title does not change hands in terms of disqualification. That's right, it has to be a pinfall or a submission.